Hello, primary boys and girls. My name is Sister Kettles. I am the new primary president. We wanted to wish you all well and hope that you're doing great. We are looking forward to a time when we can get together and see you in person, hopefully someday soon. Um, I wanted to introduce myself and introduce you to the rest of the primary presidency today. So I'll go first. I'm Sister Kettles. I am originally from Indiana. That's where I was born and I grew up. I have four children. My oldest is 20, my youngest is six, and she's in primary. Her name is Maddie, you might know her. Um, I enjoy singing. We have lots of pets and we've got two chihuahuas, a cat that adopted us, um, my children begged and begged to adopt rodents. We've got two rats and two gerbils, and we have a pet fish. That's Maddie's fish. Um, I'm grateful to, to hopefully get to know you all soon, and we'll have a, a drive through event at the end of March, so I hope that you all get to come so we can meet each other and say hello. Next will be the rest of the presidency members who will introduce themselves. And I hope that if you get a chance that you thank the last primary presidency that served Sister Rowan and Sister Rose Quist and Sister Lees, who were just awesome. I know they loved you very much and really appreciated getting to know you and, and serving you. So um, without further ado, we'll go ahead and introduce you to the rest of the primary presidency. Hi, I am Sister S. And I am so excited to be with you all here in the sixth ward. Um, I am very excited to get to know all you primary children and to work with you. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I was born in Malaysia and I grew up in California. But me and my family, we've been here um, in Provo for about 10 years. Um, I have four children. Um, my oldest is... 14 she's in high school and then I have one in sixth grade one in third grade and a one in kindergarten um, and I love to read um, I am a elementary school teacher at Wasatch and right now I'm teaching fourth and sixth graders so I get to teach my own son which is super fun um, let's see some things I, other things I like um, I like playing Fortnite with my son um, I'm on level 84 and my favorite Fortnite dance is this one. I would love to learn more about you. Um, so I hope you come up and introduce yourself to me and that way I can learn about your favorite things as well. So nice to get to work with you all. Bye. Hello primary kids. I'm so excited to be in primary. My name is Sister Pagel. And I'm very excited to be able to get to know you guys. I want you to know a little bit about me. I grew up in Utah. I grew up in Southern Utah. I am a mom. I have two kids. I have Lincoln who is six and Logan who is two. They are very fun little boys. I like to do a lot of things, but some of my favorite things are I like to bake and I like to cook. I also love being outside. Anything outside, for the most part, I like to do. I like to swim and I like to go hiking. And one of my favorite things to do at my house is I like to garden. So. I'm very excited to get to know all of you guys. Hello, primary children. I'm Sister Kwong. I'm a new secretary in the primary. I'm very excited to have this opportunity and just to get to know each of you. Let me introduce myself a little bit. Um, I was born and raised in Japan. You probably recognize my Japanese accent when I talk. I like traveling, hiking, and trying new foods and new recipes. My favorite animal is dog. I don't have any pet at home, but I like to see and pet my neighbor's dogs. 
I'm looking forward to see you in person very soon. Hi everybody, my name is Sister Skiles and I am so happy to be a part of your primary presidency. I am going to be the assistant secretary in the primary presidency and I have two little kids named Jay and Roma. They're in the CTR4 and CTR5 class if you know them. Say hi, they love to make friends and I love to make friends as well and I cannot wait to meet you guys and spend some more time hopefully uh, doing some more in-person activities that would be really fun um a little bit more about me is i am from washington state originally but then i lived in arizona for a while so i'm used to both rain and a lot of heat that comes from arizona it's really hot in arizona um and i love tigers tigers are my favorite animal and i love animals so if you want to talk to me about animals I would love to talk to you about animals and <clears throat> I am just so excited to meet all of you and to start to get to know you all better. Hello again, primary boys and girls. We're going to do singing time with Sister Likens in just a minute. We so appreciate her and her willingness to be able to sing with her beautiful voice and teach us the words to these special primary songs. I hope that you pay attention and listen closely and try to sing at home with her. And if you get a chance, it'd be great to watch the video a few times so you can get really familiar with the songs. This month we're talking about what does it mean to belong to the Church of Jesus Christ. And so as I was thinking about that question, I thought about baptismal covenants. Some of you have been baptized, some of you haven't been baptized yet, but there's some covenants and pro or promises that we make to Heavenly Father when we're looking forward to being baptized or after we've been baptized. The first one is to take upon ourselves the name of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? It means to look, look and learn from his examples, the things that he taught us, and try to live our lives the way Jesus would and the way that's special to us. And so he sees himself as ours and we see him ourselves as his. We put him and his work first in our lives, so we try to, try to be kind and good in every way that we can. Number two, we keep his commandments. So those things that we learn about, that he teaches us, we try to do our best at keeping those at all times and all things and all places. That means that also in our thoughts and the things we say, we try to be a friend to those around us. Um, and number three, we serve Heavenly Father by serving others. Service is a great way to show that we belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And we should look for opportunities to serve one another. And that shows Heavenly Father's love for them through the actions that we do. The other day, my daughter Maddie was looking for ways to serve and she found a bunch of trash in my teenage son's room. And so she, she went in there and gathered it all up. I think it took her <laughs> probably four or five or six even trips of hauling out all those plastic bottles and taking them in the trash. And I told her, Maddie, that was so good that you were serve serving. And, and she got so excited. And I think that's what happens when we serve others, that it gives us a warm, sense of satisfaction because that's something that the Savior would do if he were here serving one another is to do something that would help and lift others. So I encourage you sometime this week to look for an opportunity to serve, whether that's a friend at school or someone in your house, see if you can help your mom with some dishes or help make dinner, maybe do an extra great job cleaning your room or helping a sibling. And I know that when you do these things that you will be blessed immensely and it'll make you feel great and Heavenly Father will will feel your love for him as well. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hi, primary children. Um, I would just wanna say thank you to Sister Kettles for um, turning some time over to me. And like she, she said, we are going to be singing some songs about baptism and about the church as a whole and how it was organized. This first song um, is called When I Am Baptized. And I think a lot of you will know it. Maybe it was sung at your baptism, or maybe you've heard it sung at a baptism before. And whether you've been baptized or not, I want you to listen to this song and watch this video. And maybe think back to the day that you were baptized, or if you haven't been baptized yet, think about the promises that you'll be making on that special day.
In Doctrine and Covenants, section 20, verse 37, which is in our Come Follow Me for this month, you may have read this, there's a verse that talks about baptism. I want to read it to you. And again, by way of commandment to the church concerning the manner of baptism, all those who humble themselves before God and desire to be baptized and come forth with broken hearts and contrite spirits and witness before the church that they have truly repented of all their sins and are willing to take upon them the name of Jesus Christ, having a determination to serve him to the end, and truly manifest by their works that they have received the Spirit of Christ unto the remission of sins, shall be received by baptism into his church. That verse talks a lot about the things that we need to do to be baptized, and the promises that God gives us when we're baptized. We need to repent, and God cleanses us of our sins. Now, I was baptized when I was eight years old by my dad, and it was a really special day. Um, I also had the opportunity to be a missionary and go to some baptisms for people that I had been able to help teach the gospel. There was one woman named Christy who was really special. She um, grew up in the Philippines. She came to the United States, and she got married to someone who was a member of the church, and he reached out to us and asked if we could teach her about the gospel. And it was really beautiful to see the changes that she was willing to make in her life um, to be baptized. And on that really special day, you could tell that she had worked hard to repent. She had worked hard to, to get ready to make these promises to Heavenly Father. And to this day, she is still going to church and she is participating. And she recently was able to go to the temple and be sealed with her family. And so there's really amazing promises that we make when we are baptized, and there's amazing promises that Heavenly Father makes to us. Now, I want to sing this song again, and I want you to see if you can think about that promise. See what this song teaches you about that promise. And I'm going to sing some of the words, and I'm going to point at me, and then when I point to you, you pick up where I left off. And I have a track going so that the music will keep going, and I want to see if you can get the words where I don't sing. I hope you're able to get all those words that were missing. You can go back and watch the video before this that had the words on the screen and maybe practice with that and then practice with this one and see if you can get all those words in your head. Now we're gonna sing it one more time, but this time I'm going to conduct like I would maybe in the primary room or if we were to sing this in sacrament meeting so you can get used to doing that. And I'll sing with you the whole time this time. See if you can sing all of the words with me. Thank you. 
Again, I hope you sing along with me. That's a song that we will hopefully be able to revisit throughout this year. I know that baptism has amazing promises and that Heavenly Father keeps his promises to forgive our sins. And as we keep the commandments and try to repent each day of the things that we make mistakes on or mess up on, that he helps us, that our Savior Jesus Christ um, did what he did. He came to this earth so that he could help us. Our next song talks about the church and the name of the church and what we believe in. Now, a long time ago in 1830, on April 6th, so that anniversary is coming up, April 6th of 1830 was when the church was first officially organized. Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery had received some revelations and were directed to officially organize the church. So at the beginning of Doctrine and Covenants section 20, the same one we read from earlier, I'm going to read just a couple verses says the rise of the church of christ in these last days being 1830 years since the coming of our lord and savior jesus christ in the flesh it being regularly organized and established agreeable to the laws of our country by the will and commandments of god in the fourth month and on the sixth day of the month which is called april which commandments were given to Joseph Smith Jr., who was called of God and ordained an apostle of Jesus Christ to be the first elder of this church, and to Oliver Cowdery, who was also called of God, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to be the second elder of this church and ordained under his hand. Now listen to this part. And this according to the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom be all glory both now and forever. Amen. So that talks about what we believe in and also that we have a prophet. Joseph Smith was called to be the first prophet. Now, as I sing this church, I want you to keep the beat um, tapping with your fingers like this and listen for what we believe in. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am, I know God's plan, I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ, I'll honor His name. I'll do what is right. I'll follow his light, his truth I will proclaim. All right, what did you hear? It says, I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ. He is the focus of our church, and he is who leads the church ultimately. Now, let's do this song again. If you want to go ahead and sing and you know the words, feel free to join in with me. Keep keeping the beat with your fingers. And this time, listen for what we will do. Ready, here we go. I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I know who I am. I know God's plan. I'll follow Him in faith. I believe in the Savior Jesus Christ. I'll honor his name, I'll do what is right, I'll follow his light, his truth I will proclaim. So what will we do? 
there's a couple things in there. One of the things that we say we'll do is we'll honor his name. That's actually one of the things that we promise when we get baptized, that we will take his name upon us and that we'll represent it well. We also say that we will do what is right. Um, you probably hear the phrase, choose the right all the time. And we promise to do what is right, to make good decisions, and that we will follow his light, follow the light of our Savior Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to do another video here that has the words on the screen, and so you can sing along with this video. And remember the, um, the amazing miracle that, that it was that the church was restored again. It started with just six people, and now it is up to over 16 million people, which is pretty amazing. Watch this video and sing along. Our last song for today is all about our Savior Jesus Christ. Easter is coming up, which um, is a, a holiday that celebrates that Jesus Christ died, but then he rose again. He rose again from the grave three days later. Again, one more um, scripture from section 20. Um, this is verse 21 through 25 of Doctrine and Covenants section 20 about the Savior. It says, Wherefore, the Almighty, Almighty God gave his only begotten Son, as it is written in those scriptures which have been given of him. He suffered temptations, but gave no heed unto them. He was crucified, died, and rose again the third day, and ascended into heaven to sit down on the right hand of the Father, to reign with almighty power according to the will of the Father. So just like we read about in the Book of Mormon and the Bible and in Doctrine and Covenants, all of them testify of Jesus Christ, that he lived, died, and lived again. So this next song is all about how Jesus has risen. It might be new to some of you. It's kind of new to me. So we're going to practice it this week, and we'll probably also practice it again next month um, when we get closer to Easter. What I want you to do is to draw the phrases with your hand. So keep one hand over here, and the other hand, you're going to draw the phrases. I want you to count how many there are as we sing this song. Did you count those phrases? I counted 10. So there's 10 phrases in this song. Now we're going to sing it again. Um, and if you want to try and sing some of the words, that's great. Um, if you want to just listen again, that's okay. But I want you to listen for how many times we sing the word Jesus. And you can do the phrases with me if you want. Jesus has risen, Jesus has risen, Savior, Jesus has risen. 
how many times did you count the, the word Jesus? If you were thinking four, that's correct. So this song, we're going to sing it one more time, but I'm going to put the words here on the bottom so you can follow along. And I'll conduct like I did with the other song. And this is one that, like I said, it might be new. So you can watch this video again to get some more repetitions, get those words in your head. I know that our Savior lives again, just like this song talks about, that he has risen and that we get to celebrate this um, with Easter coming up. Um, I love you all. I don't know very many of you, but I am so grateful for the examples that you set to me, um, to hear your testimonies, to hear how you're strengthening your families. Um, thank you for watching this singing time, and I'll see you again in about a month.